So should you invest in commercial real estate right now with uh, the coronavirus pandemic and the retail landscape changing? This is a Pier 1 Imports uh, in our town that just closed um, and was already in jeopardy before the coronavirus hit, but now, you know, lots of retailers, lots of restaurants, lots of businesses are closing. So should you invest in commercial real estate with what's going on right now in the economy? Should you invest in office, retail, warehouse, hospitality? Um, what should you do if you're faced with one of those decisions? Should you do a multi-tenant property? Should you do single tenant, uh, triple net lease type properties? What is the best type of commercial property to invest in right now? So um, I would say if you can get the right deal in the right location and the property can re be repurposed, then absolutely you wanna do the deal. But you need to make sure that everything makes sense uh, from the valuation, from the potential of the property. Can you repurpose it, reposition it, and uh, fill it up? What does the vacancy look like in your area? What's the demand in your area? Those types of things. I do not like um, single tenant, triple net lease properties, especially right now, because you only have one tenant. Those are very difficult um, properties to fill if a tenant goes out of business or goes vacant. Um, and if you have a credit tenant, like a Walgreens, a CVS, Rite Aid, um, chain restaurant, national regional franchise, something like that, you might think that you're safe because of their financials and because of their corporate structure, but if they go bankrupt, you're stuck. Um, as we saw with Toys R Us, we saw what we've seen with Pier 1 Imports, um, you know, companies like um, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond that may be closing a number of stores. So a lot of times large corporations, when they file bankruptcy, um, you're stuck holding the bag as the landlord when they leave. There's just nothing left at the end of the day because the creditors get taken care of first before the landlords do. So you want to be very careful, very cautious about single tenant properties, no matter what they are and no matter who that tenant is, even if they're a major, major national corporation, very strong. Uh, even Amazons can go out of business, right? We've seen big, big companies go out of business in the past. So make sure that you are very careful about that, that if you have a single tenant type property, that that can be easily repurposed or filled with another use, another tenant. Um, and, and think about other properties, if they're multi-tenant, what can what can be done with those properties? How can they be repurposed? And how, how can you lease them up if you lose your tenants and you have some vacancy? So that's what you wanna think about when investing in commercial property. I would say that you, uh, you can still do very well with commercial real estate if you get the right property in the right area for the right price that has the opportunity to reposition if you have any kind of vacancies or uh, people going out of business, things like that.